Coach is Rick Stewart of All Access Coaching. I'm really excited to bring you this free video and make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data as far as what coaches want. And also, if, you can, if I can get to 1,000 subscribers, I'll start doing weekly YouTube clinics for free. And if you hit the like and subscribe button, you'll get notified when we upload new content. We're uploading three or four videos every week. All right, um, this is just a, a little uh, clip I, or a little picture I saw. I think I got this from like Urban Meyer or something. Um, so this kind of like, this is one of those things that was like an aha moment for me. Um, you know, if you look here uh, on the right side here, I got an even front. Um, and in this front, you know, you've got Kyle, your center is a half defender. And, and some of you may have seen this before. Um, I've got four guys on offense, okay, going against five guys on defense. I'm sorry, four and a half counting my center and then five and a half counting the free safety. Um, so, you know, how do you even that out? How do you how do you make it an even um, play? Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna read one of those guys. We're gonna leave him unblocked and and make him wrong. All right, it's the same thing. This is just out of the odd front. It's you know no matter pretty much unless you get, you're gonna bring you know somebody over and go you know trips or whatever. But anything that's balanced like this, um, you're kind of at a disadvantage. So we're gonna read somebody um, on almost every play. But th these are our post snap reads. This is who we're gonna read on different plays. Okay, so uh, this is just a, a simple four by, uh, uh, I'm sorry, four man front. Okay, and so we're going to read outside linebackers on belly. We're going to read outside linebackers on belly pass. Okay, and, and I'll, I'll explain what that means. Um, we're going to read uh, DNs uh, on the left there. We're going to read DNs on veer and jet. Okay, we're not a huge veer team, um, but we do, we do run it here and there. Um, and and I'll, I'm going to show that a little bit. Uh, we're going to read those ends on veer and jet, okay? And then we're going to read ends on power as well. Okay, we're going to read inside linebackers on our jet, okay? We're going to pull guard um, and, and read those backers when they fly out, okay? Um, and, our, and our fullback ends up being uh, our lead blocker on that uh, when that frontside backer leaves. All right, and then um, – I haven't. I didn't run this too much this past year, but I I, I do really think this is a great uh, fit in the pistol. Is is running some some midline, um, and so um, we've been successful running a little bit of midline uh, out of pistol. Um, some people complain about it because they think, well, it's not quick enough, and if when you're not under center, uh, and I, and I would I would argue that I think it is if you if you coach it up right. Um, I, I think it's, it's really good actually. And I think the quarterback's vision is, especially if that's not, if you're not a triple option team, okay. If this is just something that you do to mix it up, um, I think pistol is a great way to, to run, uh, midline and veer. All right. So, uh, this team skip forward a little bit. All right. This is, um, this is a three, four team. Okay. Um, and this D tackle Okay, we're reading them as a head up uh, in a four here. Okay, so and and I think if I remember correctly, we didn't know where these guys were going. Okay, I you know I, I spend a lot of time on the weekends, especially against the odd front, trying to figure out are they slanting strong? Are they slanting to the field? They're slanting whatever. Okay, are they slanting the motion? Okay, so and sometimes you know I, I think it's just random. Okay, some of these D coordinators, I, I don't know if there's rhyme or reason to it. There's, you know, there's some defenses that you could pick up tendencies. Okay. Um, but you know what? I don't want to tell my kids the wrong thing. So I'm just going to say, hey, look, you step. Okay. So I'm, I'm telling this left tackle, he's, he's got this kid. Okay. He's got that four. All right. If he, if he dry, you know, if he steps into him, we're stepping with our right foot, we're rooting him out of the B gap. Okay. If he, if he slants into that B gap, I want him just driving him down. Okay, it's the job of our wing back to read the butt of the tackle. Okay, and you'll see he does that. All right, this our wing back is married to this kid. I don't know if you guys can hopefully see my mouse here. He's married to this kid. Okay, that front side backer there. All right, um, and you'll see uh, our read man here. Okay, our quarterback does a nice job of reading this kid. All right, you'll see there. This kid, uh, this tackle is pinching into the B gap, so our tackle does a nice job of cutting off that penetration. Our wing back is reading his butt, okay? And he's just climbing to this front side backer, all right? And then the read man is right here. Our quarterback does a nice job. He's patient, okay? And he pulls and he's into the end zone. All right. Um, so that, that would be 
coach, uh, the one coach that asked about the four eye, that would be the same rule for the four eye, right? In my opinion, you know, if he's head up, he's taking B gap. Okay, so that's that's pretty similar. Uh, let's go to the next. All right, so we're getting two eyes here. This is kind of a, this is one of those teams that we got the defense of the week kind of deal. Um, and so, you know, they're, they're kind of throwing all kinds of crap at us and it, it stumped us for a first series or two. Uh, there, there's times where, and we didn't start slow this year, but there's been years where we kind of start slow because you're getting that, that brand new defense. You know, we get two clips, we get two films of each team. That's our rule around here. And, you know, it, it, if I'm lucky, I might see something similar to a to a wing tee, but most of the, a lot of times I'm not. So you're kind of going in a little bit blind. But you know, we preach to our kids all week. Look, this is what we think they're going to be in. But you guys are smart enough. As soon as that first series is over, you come over. We're getting on the iPad together. Okay, we're going to figure out what they're doing and be patient about be patient about our offense. And you guys know it's gonna it's gonna fly. All right, so we got two two eyes. Okay. Um, our, so here, um, let's see here. This, our center is, I think our center's uncovered and he's going to, he's going to, he ends up chopping this. I know the kid actually chops him. He gets to the Mike backer. Okay. We're Y blocking on the front side here. Okay. There goes our wing. He's bibbing. Okay. Um, the, the read man, there actually really isn't much of a read man on this play. So I'm okay if quarterback pulls this. Um, I will say this as we were game prepping this week, um, I told him it's probably going to be more of a give because um, the, you'll see as the game moves on, these kids are, they're getting up the field. Okay. These DNs are getting way up the field. So, you know, I'm okay with him giving it. All right. Now um, I put this little thing in here. We, uh, we scored this touchdown because of number eight. Okay. Here's a kid who as a junior complained, he wasn't catching the ball enough. And, he, you know, he sits down in my office be before summer ball and he says, coach, I want to catch the ball. I said, that's too bad. We're going to throw it to you when the, when the defense dictates it. And if you don't want to block, you know, I'll find somebody else to block for you. Um, and he embraced that. And this kid blocked for us all year long. I mean, he did a great job here. You can see he's pinning this kid inside and we're off to the races. What's happening because Houston Eastern did have a lot of guys up here in the back. Come on, Chase. Come on, Chase. All right, so here's our jet read. We're getting an out call. Okay, I do this off of jet motion. I also do this, okay, out of a uh, two back set or even a one back set back here, okay, where it's kind of like a stretch look. All right, so we're reading this, this defender. Okay, he's getting an out call. Okay, and now Here's my conflict defender. All right. He's, he's now thinking, man, am I getting, am I getting a uh, jet at me? Am I getting a jet? Am I getting a pass thrown at me in the flats? Okay. This kid's, you know, he's confused. Okay. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find an outside backer that I can put in conflict. Um, okay. So uh, this was our, uh, this was the uh, semis, regional semis. OK, so here we're, we're going off of it's not off of jet motion. All right. This is the stuff that I think we do different. This is going to be an in call for this kid for our tackle. OK, he's head up. He's going to block him. He's alerting our wing to block the inside backer. OK, so our read man. OK, so frontside tackle her jet read. OK, he's making an in call, meaning he's blocking that four. OK, and our um, that alerts the wing back to go to the inside linebacker. This now becomes our read man on this. Okay, this was a really good defense that we played against, um, and so we had to run a lot of read stuff. Okay, you can see, um, you can see that D end widen with the jet. Okay, um, so he's widening. All right, and our quarterback's going to keep it. Okay, we do a nice job of staying on blocks, I think. Um, we're reach blocking everything, okay? So we're if you're covered, you're, you're blocking him. If you're uncovered, you're climbing, 
Okay, on the backside. All right. Um, if I call, if it's just regular jet, those guys are going to release. I, I release the center, the backside guard, and the backside tackle. They're climbing to the next level. We're not blocking anybody on this side of the football. If it's a read call, okay, we have our center and our backside guard. Okay, especially on a blitz like this, he's got to at least make contact. Our tackle can release to the backside, and that's because of the read call. Okay. At the 33, mark off. And yeah, left side hash mark, and we're ready. Mason Battle, the quarterback. Slip back next to him, and on first down. So you the 14th and pull it out. All right, once again, Jet Reed, okay, same look. We're getting an in call, okay? Um, this D end is widening, all right, and our quarterback is keeping. Uh, first down at 10. Ballot will keep straight up here. Coaches, I really hope you got some great information from that YouTube video. Again, hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data. And if I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'll do free YouTube clinics. And you also get notified when I'm doing those YouTube clinics and when I upload new content to this channel. Thanks for watching, coaches.